Hello, performance management students. Let's talk about relevant costing and how we can identify if costs are relevant to a particular decision. To put this in context, let's imagine I have to make a decision. That decision is about going on vacation next week. Should I drive to the beach with my family and stay in a hotel? What I'm trying to figure out is what are the cost consequences of making this decision? First of all, we only want to consider cost or revenue items that will occur in the future. For example, with my vacation decision, if I go on vacation, I will have to pay for the fuel costs and I will have to pay for a hotel. Those would be future costs. I also repaired my car last week in anticipation of making this decision. However, that is considered a sunk cost. That happened in the past. Whether or not I go on vacation, that cost is in the past. It won't change. So we will exclude costs like that that happened in the past, which we call sunk. Next, we ask ourselves, is this cost or revenue item incremental? That means, does it change from my decision? Well, if I decide to go on vacation, I will pay the fuel costs. That's incremental. Now, I also have to make my monthly insurance payment on the car, okay? That is not incremental, that is a fixed cost. So I would ignore that fixed cost in my vacation costing. The next thing to consider is this, is that cost or revenue item a cash flow? If it is, we will include it. If it's not, we will exclude it. So for my vacation decision, paying for the fuel, that is a cash flow. Paying for the hotel, that would also be a cash flow. So I would include those. Now, imagine it were if it were a business decision and someone had put depreciation into the costing. Well, we would exclude depreciation as it is not a cash flow. The fourth item to look at is opportunity cost. Will my decision result in any opportunity costs? And an opportunity cost, that is the lost benefit or the lost cash inflows from choosing a course of action. Now, for my vacation decision, imagine that I am paid by the day and I had some work booked the week of my vacation. If I decide to go on vacation, I would lose that revenue. So that revenue would be an opportunity cost and it would be relevant to my decision. We just learned how to determine if costs are relevant to a decision. Let's put your new knowledge to the test. Let's try this past exam question together. I'll read it with you, then I'll ask you to pause the video, try it on your own, and then we'll go through the solution together. We have a fruit company, and they grow fruit which customers pick by themselves from the field before paying. EFCO is concerned that a large number of customers are eating some of the fruit while picking it, and therefore not paying for all of it. As a result, the company has to decide whether or not to hire staff to pick and package the fruit instead. So that's our decision. Should we hire staff to pick and package the fruit? Please read through these different costs, decide if they are relevant or not, and then let's also identify what type of costs they are. So you can pause the video, give this a try, and then we will go through it together. 
Welcome back. I'm going to take these out of order. And the first one that I look at is the cost of growing the fruit. I will exclude that from the decision. That is a committed cost. Regardless of who picks, who packages the fruit, we will still incur the cost of growing the fruit. So that is a committed cost. So that is not relevant to the decision. The costs of the baskets used by customers and staff. That is a sunk cost. We bought the baskets in the past and irrespective of who does the fruit picking, we are not going to buy more baskets. So we exclude the cost of the baskets, a sunk cost. Time spent by existing managers who are on fixed salaries supervising the staff. The clue here is fixed salaries. So I'm going to exclude this cost as well. There's no mention of hiring a new manager if they decide to package the fruit themselves. So that is a fixed cost. The salaries of the managers will not change. So I've excluded that one. Let's look at what's left. And I see we've got two revenue lines. The total sales value of the fruit currently picked and paid for by the customers. Then we have the total sales value of the fruit if it is picked and packaged by the staff in set instead. The difference between these two items would be the incremental revenue from the decision. If we decide to hire staff and pick the fruit ourselves, we will get an increase in our revenue of X. That is relevant to the decision. And the last item, the cost of hiring the staff to pick and package the fruit. Well, that is an incremental future cash flow. If we decide to package and pick the fruit ourselves, we will have to hire those workers. So that's an incremental future cash flow. So performance management team, that is the solution to our problem here. The three relevant items, A, C, and D. That is how we determine if a cost is relevant to a particular decision. After you've mastered this, your next step is to progress in the study hub and you can now look at relevant costing in the context of specific short-term business decisions.